The menstrual cycle is a natural process that happens every month. It prepares the body for a possible pregnancy and it is controlled by hormones. Mood changes during a person's cycle are something that many people experience. In this video, we are gonna explain how and why your mood can change as we go through the different phases of the menstrual cycle. First off, the menstrual cycle usually lasts about 28 days, but it can be longer or shorter for some people. In some people, it can be as short as 21 days, and in others, it can be as long as 35 days. Day one of your cycle is considered to be the first day of full bleeding. When a person is spotting, this is not considered to be day one. Now let's talk about phase one, which is the menstrual phase and how your mood can be impacted during this phase. The menstrual phase is typically days one to five. During this time, the lining of the uterus sheds and leaves the body through the vagina. This lining is made up of blood and tissue, and it is what the body had prepared in case of a possible pregnancy. Most periods will last anywhere from three to seven days. Hormone levels, especially estrogen, can be low, which can make some people feel tired, cranky, and sad. Cramps and bloating are also common symptoms during the menstrual phase. Phase two is the follicular phase and it actually overlaps with the menstrual phase. The follicular phase is days one to 13 on an average 28 day cycle. The ovaries will grow small sacs called follicles and each follicle contains an egg. During the follicular phase, hormones like estrogen rise, which can help the uterus to build a new lining. As estrogen levels go up, many people will start to feel more energetic as well as more positive. Phase three is ovulation, which happens usually around day 14, but of course, everyone is different. Ovulation is when a hormone called luteinizing hormone, which is often abbreviated as LH, causes the ovary to release a mature egg. The egg travels into the fallopian tube, and if it is fertilized by sperm, then a pregnancy is likely to happen. Ovulation only lasts about 24 hours, and it is the time when pregnancy is most likely to happen. Many people will feel their best during this time because hormone levels are at their peak. You may feel more confident, more energetic, as well as more social. Now let's move on to phase four, which is the luteal phase, which is days 15 to 28. This happens after ovulation. After ovulation, the empty follicle in the ovary turns into something called the corpus luteum. The corpus luteum releases hormones like progesterone. These hormones are responsible for keeping the uterine lining thick in the case of pregnancy. If the egg is not fertilized, the corpus luteum breaks down and the hormone levels drop. This drop in hormone can cause mood swings, irritability, as well as sadness. People can experience this as what we know as PMS or premenstrual syndrome. Some people may also feel bloated, tired, as well as have food cravings. If a sperm does not fertilize an egg, the uterine lining breaks down and sheds, which starts the menstrual cycle again. This will bring us back to day one of the menstrual cycle when the menstrual phase and the follicular phase begin again.